Peter Fitzsimons, he couldn't believe that people got here four or five hours before the actual bounce down. It's averaged 81,000 a match since its inception in 95. And uh, the biggest crowd was the first match, 94,825. Didac out, the big, uh, the big out for Collingwood League. And, and it is a significant out, uh, Court, as uh, we know how important a player that he is. Uh, Jackson Barham had a fantastic debut, debut last week, uh, nine tackles along with uh, a lot of possessions on the wing. Pressure here, Coma and Lloyd, you almost think that's an absolute given. Uh, McCaffrey comes into his uh, into the side on Anzac Day for his first game. What a great opportunity that is, uh, Rob. Yeah, so we look at the Essendon lineup, and uh, they've got some young players there. Piers, McVay out, of course. Yeah, McVeigh's out, Slattery in the back pocket. Uh, look out for Courtney Dempsey on the back flank. He's been terrific form, a real dasher. Uh, Scotty Lucas struggling at centre half forward. Matty Lloyd needs the one goal to get the 900 career goals. Young Alwyn Davey, uh, I think he'll be pretty exciting to watch on this firm track. So uh, it'll be a quick, fast game. Yeah, I was thinking earlier, I tipped Colin because I thought it was going to bucket down today yeah. and they got the stronger bodies, but now it's dry. The weather looks like it's going to hold. Essendon come right back into the contest. Paul Methurst there, number seven, uh, saw him play last week. He was the game breaker in Collingwood's win against Brisbane up at the Gabba. There was some doubt as to whether he'd play. I'm really pleased he's playing. And of course, he won the Anzac Day medal last year. So magnificent effort, the banner. It looks uh, magnificent. Listening in the sun now at the MCG. Yes, well, they forecast rain, but uh, not until about five or six o'clock this afternoon. So let's, we need rain, of course, but let's hope it holds off till then. Anthony Rocker out there as well. A lot of doubt uh, coming into this afternoon as to whether he was going to take his place. And good to see him out there, Court. Bit of pushing and shoving. We're actually running a couple of minutes early, would you believe? So, not sure whether the umpire's going to wait smack bang for 2.20. Hope so, otherwise we might be little brawls all over the ground. No, we're going to go early. And Anzac Day 2009 is underway. Essendon versus Collingwood, round five at the MCG. Fraser against Hill. Lovett's in there, but picked up by Lovett Murray. Couldn't get a clear handball away. And it'll be take two in the centre circle. There's Hill. Oh, he's hurt himself. I think he's twisted the knee. He is gone down with a knee injury, and it does not look good. And quarters, they've only got one Ruckman. Essendon's only got one Ruckman in this lineup as Collingwood, so that is a major, major controversy for the Bombers. For oh, this is this is real trouble for Essendon. David Hill incident went up with the one hand and just landed awkwardly on that left knee and went straight down. It doesn't seem to be a, a jolt or a twist or anything like that, but now Paddy Rye's going to take the centre, centre square bounce. And he'll have to ruck all day. Swans away for Collingwood. From 60 metres out, he kicks into the pocket. McCaffer! 21 year old Brent McCaffer has nailed it.
O'Brien to Barham didn't get the kindest of bounces. Gold sacks in there, trying to get the hand pass to O'Brien. Now Jetta. Oh, O'Brien did well. Great strength and great vision to spot up Clark. He gets back onto the left. Handballs to Pendlebury. Yes. And he kicks, looking for Medhurst to just float it to the front. Six goals last year in this Anzac Day game, and he became the Anzac Day medalist, Paul Medhurst. No problems for him. Third goal to Collingwood. Long to right, a swan from behind does the spalling. Davey. Handballs out to Stanton. And he kicks to Lucas. No free kick. Snaffled by Monfries. Looks for and finds Winterlick. He's within range. Have a shot. Take the responsibility on. You're a senior player. From about 45. That's a better kick. Now Swan. A dawdle down the southern side. He's waiting for the construction he likes. And he likes Thomas. And the bounce was perfect. Silver platter stuff. Thomas centering for Cloak, and this time he's got it. Important kick here, the margin nine points. Collingwood with not too much to show for having the better of the quarter. Now they've got something for their trouble. That's a good goal, and the Magpies lead by 15. Watson front and square, good delivery. Hockey, shaped to go one way, came in board the other. Dyson, confident. Through the middle for the Bombers. Their 50's open, but he needs to get his kick. Did it just in time. Lovett's there, and he's got it. Need this badly. Andrew Lovett knows what it's like to shine on Anzac Day. Here's a moment for him. And he delivers the goods, and the Bombers are within eight points. Ryder against Fraser. Fraser couldn't find a teammate. Allows Ryder into the pitch at a hocking. Threw it onto the boot. Back inside, 50. Oh, that's a good diving mark. Taken by Lonigan. Kicked nine goals in his 21 games of football before today. He's given it a good go. And it's back-to-back -back goals for Essendon. Right back in the contest. Cloak couldn't get into the aerial contest. Fletcher coolly weighted down. And puts it out in front of Jetta. But he's got company. He beats them. Mown down. Play on is a good call there. He didn't have prior opportunity. And he was trying to dispose. And eventually Essendon's pressure wins the day. The trail now by just three points. Cox yes, to Goldsack. Now Windlick wins it back to Myers. Left foot kick. There's a couple of bombers there. And they couldn't take the mark. Great effort by Brown in the end to spoil two Essendon players. One of them's down hurt. It was Monfries. No, it was Lonigan. Well done by Brown. He was brave, Lonigan, and he paid. And that is this game. Thomas gets past Zaharakis. Sure. Ordinary handball. McPhee driven into the ground. Free kick. And a 50. I think Medhurst was finessing and not receiving the ball. From about 55. It's given it everything. It's a good effort. And it is home. It's a goal. The Bombers are in front. Well, Essen it in front by a point. Mark Howard. Sam Lonigan back on the ground quarters. Really looks like he's got a problem with a cork right buttock, you would imagine. The doctors are telling him to keep moving, keep warm, and he looks pretty sore. Maybe the Magpies are stung now. Beams delivering to Pendlebury. Oh. Placing it well, and Anthony is a good man to receive the ball within range of goal. So to regain the lead, or perhaps square it up, tight spot, good kick, glorious kick from Anthony, and the Magpies are back in front. Here they go again in the corridor. Yep, love it. Murray's found some space. Great kick. Man, moves it quickly. Lloyd against Prestigiacomo. Lloyd in front. And Presti refuses to be beaten. Just couldn't quite get it out of, out of the line, over the line, so it's still in play. Here's Dyson from 45, throws the ball on the boot and kicks a miraculous goal. Yeah, his pre-season form was a bit more accurate than that, but technically he's good. He's just 
Missing a few. Stanton, good attacking hand pass. Lovett Murray is not so good. Beams brought down by Lovett, but got it off to Barham. Collingwood are on the build. Medhurst loose. Can't break. But can see possibilities ahead. And Jack's got it again. The Jack attacks on. And if they turn it over, they're caught out of position on the Collingwood rebound. Won't miss twice in a row, will he? Of course he won't. Right through the middle. Magpies by a goal. With Fee living this quarter. Stanton, good kick out wide to Watson. Now the lead's on from Lucas. That's ignored. Watson goes into the corridor to Monfries. Great kick. He's been criticised uh, in the past, Joe Watson. Uh, not going to be a 50-metre penalty, which is the right decision. Angus Monfries, two points so far in the match. Scores level. And now Barham. That is yeah. a shocking kick. There is, he's turned it straight over. It's marked by Dempsey. Travis Cloak was uh, out on the lead there. He's also been really quiet, just six disposals. Here we go again. Essendon working it through the midfield with quick handball. Watson to Lucas. And the crowd become excited. 70 out, though, too far for him. Right Sets it up and Stanton is it. Taking the mark, it is. Inside 50 available. Stanton good enough in the one-on-one. -on -one. Important moment here. Stanton produces the goal. Essendon lead by eight points. Lockyer throws it on the boot. Rocket could mark. McPhee's been really good to spread that beautifully off the pack. And he goes back into the corridor again where Essendon have dominated. Mm. And here they come again. Dyson, a long ball. Lloyd against Prestigiacomo. Davy swoops. Prestigiacomo hemmed in. He's caught. Oh, it's penalised. Free kick. That is an outstanding tackle, Matthew Lloyd. Will this be the moment for Matthew Lloyd? For his 900th career goal. Missed it again. If they could start converting, Colling would have got a problem. Davis, Lockyer, Swan, Magpie takeaway. Lovely low flat ball, but caught. Oh, Cloak just stole it from McPhee's hands. Cleverly done. And Anthony against the run of play. Well, now Anthony. And that is a lovely looking launch. He's done it again. He's third of the day. Cuts the margin to four points. Less than before today, we're ranked after a month 15th in the competition with accuracy in front of goal, 52%. And so they're continuing that trend today. They have blown three or four golden opportunities from the kick in. And they get it back. Watson to love it. Thought about having a shot. Dishes to Davey. Kicks into the goal square. Bounced over the head for a goal. Well, he caught one in the end. Realistically, look, they're almost two goals up. They could easily be four or five goals in front. 20 scoring shots to 14. Again, Essendon have the numbers around the ball. Stanton, to love it, you might get another opportunity here. Now you can make that 17. We're about to see him take another centre square bounce. He's had 16 hit outs. Josh Fraser, only 17. He should be dominating that. Fraser gets another one right up. 11 disposals and 10 tackles. He has been enormous in this game, Paddy Ryder. Hasn't been off the ground, played every single minute of the game. Well, he's had to, and uh, he's just been terrific for the Bombers. Some blood. Yeah, Lonigan, who copped a nasty one there, and he put his head down over the ball. 17-point margin is, is a big lead uh, quarters, but for what they've dominated, they've got uh, a side that's had a longer break coming into this game. They've missed some opportunities. I reckon... One more goal for Essendon would be enormous for them going into three-quarter time. Oh, Collingwood will come hard in the last quarter. Those uh, fresher legs will mean plenty. Here's an opportunity now. Davis runs onto it and kicks the goal. Big goal. Clark will get there first. McPhee has run hard from half back to create the contest. Clark, well done, McPhee, but weight of numbers wins out for Collingwood. O'Brien stabs it to the wing and finds O'Brien. He gives it to Medhurst. He's got Brown in short. He goes the longer option to Cloak. Almost within range. He kicks back to Brown, and Brown will have a shot at goal. They're getting caught on the way back, aren't they? The Collingwood rebound's catching them out. Lee Brown has converted. Three points to difference. They've got some territory here to work with Collingwood.
This is where I've been uh, worried about them in recent times. On the transition now, they've got time to find a man, but Collingwood seem to be able to get free players here. Obree to Barham. McPhee, Anthony pinched it out of his hands. And this would put the Pies back in front. There it is. Davey just couldn't find the handle. Barham, well tackled. Got into the back of the man over the ball. Jetta's free kick. Love it now. Tries one of those spectacular breaks. Couldn't get through the gap. Couldn't get a clean kick. Gives Jetta another go at it. He gives to Ryder. He deserves a go. And he gets it and puts the Bombers back in front. How good is that from Patrick Ryder? He has not been off the ground, that young man. He has laid 11 tackles and continues to work. Beams. In the back of the packs, McPhee under fierce pressure. Coughed it up. Thomas against Lucas. Thomas found Beams. Kick smothered. Ball is out of danger. McPhee is sweeping handball. Lua. Jenner who fell over. Tried to tap it to Davey. He's chased down by Goldsack. Forces another turnover. Clark inside 50. Good kick. Mark taken by that man, Pendlebury. Had his career best match last week. 35 disposals. Today, he's coming up for his 28. Beautiful kick. Matty Lloyd hasn't had a touch of the ball in this final quarter. I reckon Matty Knights could well give him five minutes just up around the middle. Just get him involved. Love it, Murray. To Watson, to Myers. Chased down by Anthony, but not before a scrubby old kick. Goes straight to Davis, the big wind-up from Leon Davis. It's home! Pies by 11. Well, I like the game of Swan. I like the game of Leon Davis. But I also like the game of Paddy Ryder, regardless of the result. Now that's out of bounds. Stanton are judged to have played on. And the Bomber fans, as you can see, don't like it. Collingwood continue to attack. Three kicks in front. Fraser to Rocker. And the veteran runs in. And... He's given it. It's a free kick against Anthony. And he knew that. Why he went and kicked the goal, you'll never know. Because the umpire had already indicated. Anthony saw him. And he ridiculously ran on and slammed it through. I was running in with him, but then he's closer to the whistle, I guess. I reckon that's just great strength. Got to let forward and back go at it like that. Yeah, I tend to... Look, I tend to agree with you. I reckon Anthony Rocker got the best body position. I don't think it was in the back. Fletcher. Fisted it away. Stanton to love it. He gets past Davis. Great acceleration, Barham, he can't even catch him. Look at the speed of Lovett. He has about four bounces. Now on the left, kicks to Jetta, who can run on and kick a goal here and make it interesting. Jetta. Goal. Hello. <laughs> Mark Howard, suddenly it's looking like a night game. How is it down there? Predicted rain all day, Tim. It's come in the last five minutes. It's really getting heavy now. It's extremely dark and getting greasy underfoot. Oh, you tipped this. You latter-day Mike Williamson. Beautifully done. Eight points in it. Bombers haven't given it away yet. Beautifully done by Watson. Goes to Stanton. Just couldn't hang on. Clark keeps him corralled. Stanton backpedals and then lofts it. Monfries is coming, so is Lloyd. Monfries very nearly snared it. Essendon still dangerous. Monfries back for seconds. Lovett has a go. Did he get it high? No, he didn't. Davis swings it out on the full. As I said earlier, there hasn't been a two-kick game between these teams on any day of the year for eight years. Anzac Day 2001, it was eight points. Dyson is a left footer. He's the right man uh -huh. for the moment. He spins it home. And the margin is just two points. But not a long left, a lot of time left. Fraser and Ryder and McCaffer trying to paddle it to advantage. Ball slippery now. 
Been raining for a few minutes. McPhee gets Essendon moving. Love it. This could be the last gasp for the Bombers. Attacking at Monfries. Just fall of the centre. They're dangerous when they move it quickly. Dyson. Checked up. It's all set for him. He's got it. He's got the open goal in front of him. Oh, he couldn't get it out of his boot. Oh. The Bombers. Can you believe that? Oh, dear. Oh. Can you believe that? He, it seemed like he had all the time in the world. Look at his slippery. That is incredible. It looked like it was a certain goal. Don't you love the way Essendon played that on from their defensive 50? Collingwood by a point. Lockyer brings it in. Ryder sandwiched between two pies. Back of the Packers, Winderlich. Quick handball to Hocking. Back to Lovett Murray. He goes short. It's a mark to Zaharakis. Zaharakis has kicked the goal. The Bombers are in front of the G. Unbelievable scenes here. David Zaharakis puts Essendon back in front after all looked lost. Stack the back line. Oh, yeah. Look at him go down. The Bombers. There's about 18 players go deep in defence. Sensational bit of play. Good composure there from Lovett Murray. And Zaharakis, under pressure, made great contact. Well, it's a magnificent fight back by a never-say-die Essendon. How they let it come to this. And Ryder rises to the heights again. Tuvi tries to crash through. There's that time. It's over. The Bombers have won it. They have snatched victory from the jaws of defeat. An Anzac Day win. The Magpies left to ponder how and why. Essendon by five points. Great scenes and well done, Bombers. They never gave up. The young team back their coach. And they must have got that last goal with only about six or seven seconds. to Nick Mulhouse watches on what a game from that man Rob he arrived yeah. today as a player he did he stood up when he had to with David Hill going down early and Luke and I both thought good night bombers when that happened they started him in the back line he had to go into the ruck and he rucked for the entire game and he might have to for the rest of uh, season 2009 and I reckon it suits him as a defender he's got to be reactive to what goes on with his forward as a ruckman he was able to just to be natural and flow and use his athleticism he hunts the ball really well it's great uh, first stuff I'd like to thank Collingwood obviously you'd be pretty disappointed uh, coming so close but uh, not getting the result but I think we're even over Anzac Day we really respect you as a club and look forward to playing you again later in the year and next year to our boys uh, we're working pretty hard at trying to get the respect back in the competition and I reckon today we really did that and uh, well done boys, hopefully give us the confidence to move many steps forward for the rest of the year and well done to the crowd and the Anzac spirit.